I often look at the news to find problems around the world. I heard about the Zika virus outbreak and I wanted to use gene editing techniques to help prevent this from happening. And then I heard about Malaysian Airlines going missing. So I created a black box finder. But then I found out about Flint, which was one of the biggest problems I'd ever seen. My name is Gitanjali Rao. I'm a scientist and an inventor. In 2014, Flint switched their water source from Lake Huron to the Flint River, which caused lead contamination in drinking water. The part that hit me the most was that there are all these children who don't deserve unclean water to drink. I wouldn't want that to happen to me or my family, so why should it happen to them? I saw my parents testing for lead and other contaminants in our drinking water, and it wasn't reliable, it was inconvenient. The current test for lead can take up to two weeks. That is quite expensive, and it's very laborious to get a result. So what I wanted to do is create a lead in water detection tool. I came across this new technology using carbon nanotube sensors and wanted to expand the idea to detect lead in drinking water. In the beginning, I wasn't even sure if this idea would even work. I needed guidance and I needed a lab. When I met Jitanjali, I thought that she conducts herself pretty much like an adult. She's combining the skills of an engineer, of a scientist, of a designer, so we decided to partner up with her because we have a common goal to provide safe drinking water. When they offered me the lab space, I come home and I start screaming my head off. It's like, ah, or something like that. I was so excited. I knew that if I could get this to work, I could help so many residents of Flint. My device is named Tethys, after the Greek goddess of fresh water. To create Tethys, I went through a lot of different versions, and now it's a 3D printed, fully wired device. In order to test for lead in your water using Tethys, you attach a disposable lead sensor cartridge specially treated with chloride ions. If the water has lead, it sticks to the chloride ions and causes resistance to the flow of current. So the more resistance, the more lead. To display the results, I wanted to create an app. So I used Android App Maker because that's what was easiest for me for my first time creating an app. I connected the device to the phone using Bluetooth and I could see my results of either safe, slightly contaminated, or critical. It's, she's, she's just amazing. She's taking advantage of that knowledge and that passion to build something that is for the benefit of humanity. Coming to Flint just makes me want to work harder. People are lined up for hours waiting to get bottled water, which won't even last them a whole month. I know my device only solves a small part of this huge problem, but if people can test their water themselves, that gives them the power to do something about it. Society tells you that you can't do certain things because you're a child or because you are a female. Seeing someone like Jitanjali, so eager, so smart, so prepared, she's pushing the envelope, not only for herself, but for other generations to come. Four years, I'll be able to support the world in 75 countries. I want to learn more about the world. I want to know about people. And this is my first step to understanding. <laughs>